today we're going to be making this delicious apple pie with my mom's famous and delicious and the best pie crust in the world recipe. For a 9 inch apple pie, you're going to need 3 fourths cup of sugar, and I'm doubling it, so I have a cup and a half <laughs> in here. And then I also have 1 fourth cup of flour, or doubled, so a half cup of flour. And the spices you're going to need are 1 half teaspoon ground nutmeg, and I have put all my spices together and doubled it. 1 half teaspoon ground cinnamon and a dash of salt. And that's all doubled right here. And it smells really good. <laughs> and then you're also going to need 2 tablespoons margarine or butter, and I have it doubled. And then I also have 6 cups thinly sliced pared tart apples and that's about six of them, but I'm doubling it. So I just have an apple cutter right here, and I found that it goes pretty quickly, just like that. You can use whatever you want to cut them also, just make sure that they're thinly sliced. take my my knife and cut them a little bit thinner each one of them about in two thirds so about like that Just mixing it all together. And this is basically just to coat all of the apples. And you don't even need to add any liquid to this. It will all of the apples will have juice that comes out of them. And that will be like the the juicy part of the apple pie. So here's our pie crust. Check this video out on how to make the best pie crust in the entire world. It's my mom's recipe, and I had to ask special permission because it's so good. All right, so I'm taking about half of what I have in here and putting it in here. About it right there. I'm gonna grab my other pie crust because I am doing two right now. Fill it up with the rest. And just even it out and make sure that they're both equally overflowing because they probably will be overflowing a little bit. And the rest of this cinnamon sugary stuff, I'm just throwing in on top. So here I have my butter and I'm just gonna put little pieces of it all throughout the pie. So here is the top of my pie, and I'm going to take the, this wax paper off of the top and just kind of lightly lay it, one hand on top and one hand on bottom, just like that. Now I'm going to take the wax paper off of the bottom of the pie crust and just flip it over the top. I think I got pretty good at this when I was making pies for rhubarb festival, <laughs> like a billion pies. Now I'm just kind of gently pushing it in on the edges to make sure that it's in the right spot. Now I've got my butter knife and I'm just going to cut off the excess. Now what I'm going to do is my favorite way of just decorating the edge of the pie and I am just pinching it into a mountain and then putting my finger in the groove below if you you can watch and kind of figure out what I'm doing from there. Another way, if you don't think that this will turn out very well for you, is just to take a fork and and boom, 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 all the way across the outside, and that will work perfectly and looks really good too. And to finish it, I'm just gonna take a little bit of sugar and sprinkle it over the top, put in a nice little sparkly look. So if you don't want the, the outside to be too crispy, the crust, then put a little strip of tin foil just around the edge, and that will prevent it from getting too crispy. So, and then I'm just gonna put it in the oven at 425 for 40 to 50 minutes. 
Thank you for watching Pins and Things. This is going to be so delicious and I've had it before and it is so good. I'm actually going to put some vanilla ice cream on the top of it and have it a la mode. Um, please subscribe to my channel and comment and tell me if there's something you want me to try out. And also thumbs up this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.